Starting with the charging board, you need this for charging the batteries. Then you need the slide switch for turning our device on and off. Then we need some 3.7 volts lithium polymer batteries for powering our device. This is the main circuit board with some transistors to amplify the sound that is received by this microphone. You can adjust the gain on this circuit by just turning the preset. Link of this diagram can be found in the description. We will use these rubber ear pods for getting the audio output. Firstly, I will use a plastic box to secure all these components and then I will secure all these components like this one, the switch and the charging board. Now we'll solder one of the wires of the switch on our amplification module for the power input and the other wire will be soldered onto the positive output of our charging board. Then we'll solder a wire from the negative output of our charging board to the amplification module's negative power input. And similarly we'll solder the battery onto the charging board. Next we need to solder the wires of this earphone onto our amplification module for the output of the audio. And here is how, it's, how it looks like it's completed. And I've pasted some piece of tape so that I can avoid any sort of short circuit with the charging board and amplification module. Now I will secure the mic on a hole made on this plastic box and our hearing aid is almost completed. Now you can charge this device from the charging board and turn it on and off using the switch. Now let us test it with a simple example. Test this hearing aid and for that I have placed one earphone which is currently producing some sound and this hearing aid is set at its maximum gain and I will be taking this earphone as this hearing aids output to my smartphone's mic. So let us listen to this sound. That might clearly indicate how sensitive this is.